Hi, this is Greg Koopman. Okay, I'm going to cut right to the chase here about the slicer. Okay, the slicer can do hier hierarchies, which is really cool. Okay, the base slicer that comes with your Power BI out of the box. Okay, and so if you want to see that slicer, it's right here. Okay, on your panel, on your visualization panel. Okay, so I've, I've already created a couple of screens to demonstrate what I'm, I want to show you here. So on this screen here, we're using a basic slicer with higher hierarchical limitations to one dimension. So this is what I'm trying to explain here. So basically, this is the filter, I mean, the, rather the slicer. And I have gone ahead and pulled in information, calendar year and month name, okay? So I'm on the sli slicer. I pull in calendar year and month name from the dim date dimension, the dimension, uh, date dimension, okay? So what that does for us, if we associate it with this visual, this matrix visual, if I click on like 2007, oops, there's nothing in 2007, so let's try 2013. If I click on 2013, you can see that I'm getting all sorts of to all this data, whenever I can drill down, you're going to see it's only 2013 data. Now, if I hold my control key down here, because I don't have this set up for, for, okay. And so now you see 2014 show up. That's really cool, right? Now, let's say I want to just, I only want to see um, a certain month in 2013. Okay. So let's say I just want to see March of 2013. Well, I, I, this lets me go ahead like a hierarchy and go down to the month level and click on March. And now when I see Australia, I only see March under it. I only see March, right? Etc. And then when I go to May, I might go ahead and also select May. And we got March and May. Okay, so this is great, right? We got a hierarchy. Okay, but I even want more. Okay, I want more. I want to be able to go from here I then actually I want to be able to first go to um, I want it to show up the United States in the region first okay and by doing this I need to bring in the region over into this visual so I have the visual selected I go into dim customer and I go to re country region name so I go to custom region name and I select it, right? And it puts it at the bottom here. Okay. I want it on the top. It doesn't really matter where I put it. No matter what, I have an error here. The error says the entities that the columns and the values bucket belong to are not hierarchically related. Okay. So what that means is that I really, this, this slicer can only uh, do hierarchies if they're in the same table. Okay, so there it's fine as long as I put things in from the date table because that's where I started from. But once I um, bring in something from another table into the same hierarchy, it won't let me do it. Okay, like in this matrix, you get, see you got the region and you got the year and you got the month under there, and that will, then that even drills down to the products. Okay, the product category. So that's three different tables that hierarchy goes to and that's the matrix it's no problem with the matrix but with the slicer i want to be able to do the same sort of thing okay but i can't and that's the base slicer and that's the main difference between the custom visual uh custom uh slicer the custom hierarchical slicer i'm going to show you and this base slicer so the base slicer is right here okay and that comes with it right out of the box. This icon shows you the hierarchy hierarchy slicer, what I call a custom slicer because it's not part of the base, the core slicer just yet. In order to get this slicer, you have to go out through this ellipsis and say import from app source. Okay. And when you import it, all right, so that pulls up. Um, all these different visuals that are custom made that aren't in the base. This is really cool. You find some real jewels out here. Uh, if you want to try a lot of these things out, uh, there's some really good things out here. And uh, 
it's a lot better than trying to work your way around a bunch of things. So you might, be, you know, by investing in a lot of time looking at these different things, you're probably doing yourself a big favor and your uh, employer. Okay, so for example, so if I can't, can't want to find it, I can just say slicer, and I go ahead and search for it, and so it will pull up anything with the, you know, that looks promising for slicer, enlightened slicer, chiclet slicer, that's kind of cool, power slicer, timeline slicer, okay, there's all sorts of slicers out here, okay, but what I'm talking about today is a hierarchy slicer, okay, so you hit add and it will bring it right in, and you notice the icon here, this is, I've already brought it in, so it's right here, okay, it's that easy, all right, so, so we've determined that that's a problem. And so basically this tab says basic slicer with hierarchical limitations to one dimension. Exactly what I said. Once I get rid of the country region, okay, over here for that visual, right? Once I get rid of it, presto, it's all back. It has nothing to do with a dim, di dim dimension. It has to do with it only looks at one dimension at a time. So if I got rid of calendar year, and got rid of month name and brought in just from the customer table. Let's say I bring in country region and province name and postal code. Since it's from the same table and we look back over the visual, the, sl the slicer, see, we get our region, we get our province name, and we get our zip code or our postal code. Okay. So as long as it's from the same table, the base slicer works fine. Okay, so if we're going to use base slicers, let's say I really want to uh, get very uh, granular with my, my filters. Well, I could do something like this. So this is, I could use multiple uh, basic slicers uh, and okay, I could use multiple uh, basic slicers to get very granular. I could go, let's say I want to see France. I want to see 2013 only. And I want to see clothing only. Okay. So now if I look under and drill through France, I see only 2013. And I see uh, each, any one of these will have clothing, only clothing, right? Or I could even go 2013 and change that up a little bit and say March and June and July. And I could say I want to see bikes and clothing. Clothing, okay, so now all of a sudden you see 2013 for France, 2013, March, June, and July, and then you see bikes, and June, bikes and clothing, etc. Okay, so you're able to do a lot with the basic slicers, but why do you want to have three of them? You don't need three of them if you use this custom hierarchy slicer, which I've done in this tab. Okay, so when I go to this tab. All right, as you can see, I'm just going to clear this. Okay, so if I want to clear, go here, I could say, okay, give me France. And I'm going to drill down, and I want to see only 2013. Let's go to 2013, and let's go March. Um, we're going to go down through. March, May, and June, right? May, June. Okay. And I say bikes and clothing. Bikes and clothing. A couple extra clicks on this one. But you get the idea. So now I'm at the same thing. But look at the real estate. I'm only using one slicer to get me to where the same place as the other one did, right? So this is using the custom hierarchy slicer. Okay, this is the way to do the same thing. You need three slicers to do the same thing here. So um, I'll take this one any day of the week. Okay, this hierarchy slicer. Uh, one other thing I like about the hierarchy slicer, uh, I like this this collapsible. It collapses pretty nicely. So I can just collapse everything real quick. Okay, and I want to, uh, you know, undo all my selections. I can go like that and undo my selections. Same thing goes here. Um, 
I can go ahead and erase all my selections here at the same time, which is nice too. Okay, so anyways, that's the that's the idea here, and that's why uh, you might want to look at this custom hierarchical slicer. It will uh, it can mean a whole lot of uh, really make things more efficient for your users. Thank you.